currently what I've been working on. This is, I don't know if you can see it. Oh, springs on my lights again. But yeah, this is my magnetized trays. For my orcs. So as you can see, oh, okay. <laughs> Prime example, that magnet is coming at the bottom of him, but all the rest are pretty much in there. See, so there's a little magnet. So it's a slot of base, magnet fits in there. I think it's a 5mm by 2mm magnet that fits in there. And then this sheeting is just um, galvanized sheet metal. I got it from the DIY shop, hardware store. Um, you can get it in, I get it in 500mm by 250 sheets and then cut them in half and I get 25 by 25 sheets. And it's just foam board rim. And then it's just three or four mil. Depending on your highest model, it's that tall. Then we've got the tray for the bigger models. So I've got my killer cans in here. Look like you can see them. Killer cans in here, weird boy, my war boss, looters, mega knobs. I've got some orcs on some balls, so they've got magnets in the bottom. <laughs> I try and keep the polarization of the magnets the same way. So I have attached them to this screw. So I know that this is this end's got to go onto the bottom of the model. That way you're not gonna get magnet you're not gonna get models sticking together. So these models will all repel each other because it's opposite polarizations. So they won't if you accidentally knock them over, they're not all just gonna clump up into a, a big magnetic mess and probably break maybe. But yeah, um, killer cans, let me just have a look, I think. Yeah, so these have got two, just because they're a bit bigger. Don't necessarily need to, they're very quite, they look quite light to be fair. Um, but again, tip that up. Ooh, moment of truth. Okay, he's come off his magnet. Okay, so some of these I've got to work on. The super glue is not holding some of them. It's holding a good 90% of them, but one or two, it's just for some reason the magnets just come. I might just go over them all and just uh, put another layer of super glue on them. But so he's got to come out and have his magnet done, and this fellow's got to come out and have his magnet done. Okay, so just going to pause it here and I'll grab my other box. And if by magic we have now two, so I've done the same with these. These guys, obviously the prawn is not magnetized, but these guys are all stuck in there, they're not moving. Uh, I have put a rim around this one, I've got to cut the edges off, just so that I can stack these on top of each other. So all these will just stack and go in my cupboard, easy enough. So, again, these have got magnets on the bottom. None of these have come out, and I don't know why the orc ones are, are coming, I don't know why these are coming off, but none of the two have come off. So I've got my battle suits in there, broadside. Shadow Sun is a new addition. I did a video on him, I think. I think it was just an update, but yeah, I've got some drones in there. I've got my fire warriors, my piranha. Not everything's in these ones because I think I'm just gonna have to have separate boxes just for the vehicles. Same with my orcs, I've got that many vehicles, I'm not gonna be able to get them all in in these boxes so I think this is just going to be a troops box I may actually leave the piranha in here I've got to change the base over I'm going to change the base to an actual one where I can fit a magnet in the bottom and I'm going to put oh, it's not all gun drones come out I'll put that back in a bit I'm going to put brass rod on, on him like this so he just keeps it sturdier so I did a video on the brass rods. Okay, yep, so thanks guys for tuning in. That's what I've been working on. And I'll uh, hopefully have another tutorial video out soon. So I'll catch you again next time.